Alrighty guys, today's the day. We're getting rid of the Accord and we are full in on this Genesis Coupe. Let's get it. Well, there she is guys. Here we go again. So this car is actually leaving our possession today. It is moving on to a new owner. Uh, I did little things here and there, but nothing too crazy since I got it back. And honestly, it's just time to let her go completely. I mean, maybe one day it'll come back into my hands again. Who knows? But for now, she, she gonna go bye bye which is um it's bittersweet i mean we've already said goodbye to this car once so i'm not too pressed about it the genesis drives very well so wow i'm excited all righty john and i out here this is the last drive in the accord we out here say goodbye to the starlights we'll probably put them in the next car uh the gen and then we'll probably also do the underworld lighting as well pretty soon here but um that's just standard stuff that i do to every car but I have my new camera coming in hopefully soon so we can start working on the Gen Genesis build and, and I won't have to use my phone anymore. minus 30 minutes uh, we've got the two cars kind of posted up back here and uh, we're probably going to take the Accord over there soon I just had my final drive and it was very nice um, this thing actually does pull harder than the gen which is I mean low-end torque and all that from the J series the v6 is definitely a little more overwhelming or like more whelming than the underwhelming power of the 2o turbo but the great thing about the Genesis is there's a lot of aftermarket support so there's a lot of stuff you can do with intercoolers injectors all that stuff to make the car way faster I mean the the factory intercooler is like a heat soak basically so we do want to do the front mount as well but like all sorts of little things and it's rear wheel drive so you can definitely have some fun in the winter so here's the parts car he's got the key for it there's the rear bumper that i took off of the other genesis this is actually the trunk that we took off the other genesis as well you can see it had these damage markings so that's why i pulled it off and replaced it with the other one and this one has holes in the top for the wing that i pulled off and yeah it's just better with the oem wing well that's a nifty use of a hey, uh, engine stand <laughs> isn't there buddy there in case you didn't know this there are tools for the job um, <laughs> and this is not the right one i don't think right. oh yeah that's so funny the way this is held up right now i am my head is yeah i'm not i'm just saying my mind is blown my guy yeah yeah <laughs> That's me right now staring at this yeah, equation, yeah. bro. But uh, we got the Evo. It might be leaving soon. Maybe the next day or two, it's Ryan's okay. gonna come pick this thing up. Off. And um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get finally rolling on this thing. Uh, he just has a nicer space to work in, and my driveway is crazy steep. So I think we're just gonna figure out the rest of this build at his place, which is gonna be sweet. Also, stack of tires is gone. Now I have just one left. And those are nice spares. They might actually go on the Evo. I really like how these uh, BBSs look. They look amazing. But um, I also really like these Audhans. So we'll see. Uh, Ruben said they were Evo spec. I'm not sure on that. All right, we're back at John's house. Here's the front bumper that we took off the other day. It was yesterday. And um, I'm getting the fenders off right now. It's just the three 10 mils right here. Boom, boom, boom. Then we've got the 10 mil right here. And we got the 10 mil... There's a couple for the the headlight bracket here or the actual bracket for the fender and i think there's a couple under here so i just pulled this thing loose hopefully it'll come loose once i uh actually pop the tab and then we gotta get behind the door another thing i did was i put these mirrors back onto this genesis the parts car because i kind of like the clean look of the other ones better and these are not wired for the other car um the wiring harness on that car can see it all the way over there um the wiring harness on that car actually doesn't come with the lighting option so a lot of these things like the fog lights from this bumper are not gonna work so here's the old fender finally got it off it's pain and a half with the side skirt kind of half in there here's the new fender it is a little dirtier but it doesn't have the quick release portion right there and there's rust on these fenders so these ones don't have rust which is perfect so we're gonna throw that on there and then oh, start the other side i finally got into the driver's side fender oh my goodness dude this is such a pain and i did snap these two clips which is kind of unfortunate but 
Yeah, it is what it is, I guess. All right, driver's side fender is on. Now we move on to the bumper, which is pretty easy. Um, but before we do that, I have this new grill. We'll get rid of that and replace it with the new one. And of course, that one has the same one. So um, yeah, we're gonna go badgeless with it. Well, there you have it. It is now on the car. No emblem in the grill there. It looks really clean. I just have to clean it up because I took off the license plate mount there. But um, yeah, it's pretty much done. So all I have to do now is put the other stuff back onto the other car, clean it up, and we should be good.